There are two uh, key limiting factors that site owners need to be aware of when it comes to uh, how they're serving pages to their users. The first is uh, page size and page growth, and the second is page complexity. So something that site owners also uh, need to know is that images carry a lot of this payload weight. Uh, something that's been consistent over the past uh, couple of years is that images total between 52 and 59 percent of a page's total weight. And that's not likely to change. Uh, E-commerce sites particularly need to serve very image-rich pages to their users. And we're asking these images to do a lot. We need to serve extremely high res, um, high bandwidth images to uh, people who are accessing the internet using uh, retina display devices. And we also need to be serving very, very lean images to people who are accessing the internet via their mobile devices. At the same time, we need to understand what some of the challenges are in serving faster images. Uh, something that site owners might not realize is that many of the images that uh, their sites are hosting are actually in the wrong format. So they're actually not saved in, in a, the optimal format to make the files as small as they can be. Images are also poorly sized and they don't take advantage of techniques such as uh, compression, which makes the image file smaller, and progressive image rendering, which allows a low-res image to load first on a page and then loads a progressively more high-res image, uh, improving the perceived load time from the, from the end user's perspective. Images are served from multiple locations, which increases latency and also the risk of failure in pulling those, those resources from those locations. Another key limiting factor is page complexity. So not only are pages, uh, do pages contain a lot of resources, and those resources themselves are large, but those, those resources are also being pulled from a variety of, of sources. So it used to be that all of a site's resources were hosted on one or maybe two servers. These days, a uh, site is pulling uh, resources from seven to, at least seven to 30 or even more uh, host servers. Third-party content is uh, another aspect of page complexity. So not only are sites pulling content from various servers that could be hosted in multiple locations, but they're pulling content from third-party servers where you have actually no control or visibility into how those uh, third parties are going to be able to deliver that content to your users. Each of those third parties, of which there can be several per page, uh, is a risk for a single point of failure with your site where if the third party uh, content does not load, it can slow down or even break your page. There are a couple of things that site owners can do to address the challenges of page size and complexity. Because we know that 80 to 90% of the response time happens at the front end at the user's browser, uh, those are really easy opportunities and obvious opportunities to make some clear performance gains. The result of this growth in page size and the increasing complexity of pages is that we're seeing pages slow down, not speed up. Uh, a typical e-commerce site today takes between seven and eight seconds to load, which is contrary to what many people believe. And we've seen this growth uh, increasing, this, this slowdown increasing year over year.